Hey everybody, what's up? This is Joe Longo and this is my new vlogging project, 3 for 3, where I connect with some of the most inspiring and creative people I know to bring you three tips that will hopefully improve, enhance your life, or at least make you laugh. This week I get together with my friend Jason Blau, owner of Sit Meditation Space in Lafayette Hill, Pennsylvania. Jason and I discuss meditation. He also gives us a couple tips on starting a meditation practice and leads us through two beautiful meditations as well so please enjoy the meditations this week i added some video clips that were not created by me because i wanted to add a sense of uh, joy and wonder we will say to go along with the meditations that jason shares with us so please enjoy the episode enjoy the meditations enjoy our special guest at the end and like and subscribe share with your friends do all that good stuff and if you have some tips that you would like to share with the world shoot me a message and let's connect and create so meditation what is it it's really a, a single point of focus it's bringing your attention and your awareness to one thing rather than letting the mind do what it usually does, which is take you into all different stories and worries. So we can't actually stop the thoughts from occurring, but what we can do is learn to build in a little bit more space, right? Create space in between the thoughts. That's where the stillness and silence comes in. That's where the magic actually happens. So should we go into the space and actually yeah, uh, let's meditate. check out some of these tips? Let's, let's do that. Sweet, let's go. Well, tip number one, when should you meditate? Well, any time that you can find the time to meditate is the best time. However, there's a lot less thoughts in the morning. So, my teacher, Allison Sobel, would always say, RPM, rise, pee, meditate. Not rise, check your cell phone or Facebook, then meditate. Just simply get up, run to the bathroom, come back, find a nice comfortable seat, and sit just for a few minutes. I promise you, it will change the entire course of your day. So, tip number two, where do I even begin? <laughs> so it's important to get a comfortable seat. You can start by sitting on a cushion or a pillow on the floor, and you can cross the legs gently in front of you, just by the ankles. Then I would take the shoulders and I would shrug them up towards the ears, roll them back and allow the shoulders to fall down. Really nice and easy. And then let the hands fall where they will, maybe on the knees or even the upper thighs. You can keep the hands down if you're looking for more of a grounding practice. You could flip the palms up towards the sky if you're looking for more of a receiving practice. Either way, just be comfortable. You'll sit up nice and tall so the spine is elongated. The crown of the head will reach up towards the sky almost as if somebody's pulling just one piece of your hair gently up. A slight tuck of the chin will allow for the air to move freely without constriction through the nose or the back of the throat. If sitting on the floor doesn't make you feel comfortable, you can always get up, sit on a chair or even a couch. So the best way to begin your meditation is just simply sit down, close your eyes, and begin to focus in on your breath. What does that even mean? Well, when you close the eyes, just simply notice where the breath is, maybe where you can feel it the most. Maybe you notice the breath in the belly. Just simply observe the belly as it moves out and in as you breathe in and out. Or maybe even recognizing the natural rise and fall of the chest as you breathe in slowly through the nose and breathe out slowly through your nose. You may even think to yourself, a count of four, breathing in one, two, three, four. Just pause and then exhale slowly, four, three, two, one. Keep repeating over and over again. Inhale slowly, and exhale slowly. Maybe you've set a timer for a minute, three minutes, but once you feel like you've settled down enough, 
Just simply begin to bring some awareness back to your breath. Maybe wiggle the fingers, or the toes, and just reawaken the body. And just simply then open your eyes, noticing how you feel. All right, so we're definitely going over three minutes today because we're going to go into nature and give you a couple more tips on how you can connect to nature and meditate all at the same time. So come along, join us. It'll be fun. By taking a deep inhale breath through your nose, open the mouth, side out. And let's begin picking up the right foot, moving it forward, placing it down, and then the left foot, picking it up, moving it forward, placing it down, feeling the foot as it makes contact with Mother Earth, and just moving slowly and mindfully, picking up the foot, moving it forward, placing it down. And just breathing, being present with this moment right here, right now. Take one more deep inhale breath and let that breath go. <sighs> Open your eyes, inhale, exhale. <sighs> All right, that's it. There's your three tips and a little bit more because we had to come to the park. It's so beautiful. Um, this is our friend Danny. She popped along and she's going to be doing a workshop at Jay's, but she can tell you about it. So we'll be doing a sound healing, yoga nidra, and Tibetan singing bowl workshop at Sit Meditation with Jay and myself leading. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. And you can follow their Facebook and Instagram yes. to get more details on when that will be. SitMeditationSpace.com or follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Thanks. Thank you so much for checking us out. Now we got to get out of here. Peace. One, two, three.